Hey guys, how are you? Today is Halloween get ready with me for this Halloween. I'm going to be Corpse Bride and I just figured I would do this because I thought that she was really cute and I didn't really see anybody else doing it. So that's what we're doing today. I also have other Halloween like makeup videos on the Firework app and I'll put a link below so you can click and go check out this new app. Sorry, I like hit my sink. Um, yeah, okay. Um, this is gonna be a mess. So today the first thing we're gonna do is dye this wig that I have. I have a really old wig that I bought and I can't wear it because it's like white and it just looks weird with my skin tone, but I wanted to see what I looked like blonde, which is why I bought it to begin with. Wait, right? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna bring it over here. Should I just hold it? Yeah. To start off today, I'm gonna be using this white wig that I got and the Corpse Bride has like dark blue hair, so we're gonna dye it dark blue, just because like I didn't wanna buy like a dark blue wig if I like already own this wig that I don't wear. I've never dyed a wig before, so this is gonna be like messy. Right. What does the box say? So that's what I'm getting out. I'm getting the instructions out. All right, we're using the box instructions for this. This is not like of my own doing. Here, we got some gloves. Oh my God, it comes. We're starting out with gloves today. <laughs> my friend Audrey is helping us today. She's been <laughs> in like a few videos. I don't know if you'll like recognize her. <laughs> She's gonna help me do this because she helps me do everything. I'm gonna attempt to help. This might not go so well. I think we're gonna be okay. It's just a Halloween outfit, so even if you do like do what we're doing and like dye a wig, like who cares? It's like a holiday. No pressure. So it says to shampoo and towel dry hair before dyeing, but like I'm not gonna shampoo a wig, so I'm just gonna get it wet. I don't know if you can see it. I tried to position this so you could like see the sink. I don't know if you can see me, but it's getting wet. <laughs> you look okay. good. Now we're gonna brush out the hair. We have it like on a lamp because I don't have like a real wig holder, but like that doesn't matter. <laughs> Do I mix it with water or something? I don't think so. I think you just... Okay. Hold on. Oh damn, this looks purple. What the fuck? Is this supposed to be blue? This better come out blue. Okay, yeah, this is what the color is looking like. It looks like purple, but it was supposed to be blue. So like, I guess we're just gonna go with it anyways because I'm not gonna like go buy another one. I'm sure it'll come out blue. Okay, now that our corpse wig is ready, we're gonna start like putting the blue shit on it. I'm gonna turn the camera down. It's like a two man job. Oh wait, it is turning blue a little bit. I was really like, this better not be like literally fucking purple. <laughs> also the model on the box has brown hair. So hopefully. And now we have to set a timer for 20 minutes. Now we're gonna wash this wig out. It's like sort of turning blue. I'll try to like help you see it. We left it on for an extra 10 minutes. I left it on for an extra 10 minutes because it wasn't really like turning blue. It really only looked purple, but I need this wig to be blue. So like hopefully it continues to turn blue. Okay, so oh wow, very like surprising. It's becoming like a light blue. Oh, wow, wait, this is sick. Like, look at like the purple coming out. It looks like so cool. It's not like a dark blue, but it's like, okay, you know? Yeah, it's not a dark blue, but definitely like an awesome color came out of this. And I could probably use this wig for more shit now that it's blue. Mm -hmm. Expert tip. Yeah, always buy two bottles of hair dye because one is not enough. Hey guys, I look totally different because I like stole Audrey's light because hers is like nicer than mine. <laughs> cute, right? She's like doing her homework back here. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get started with makeup. <laughs> um, okay, we're starting with concealer per usual and this is the Kylie in shade Pine Nut and just like a regular packing brush.
I did such a good shade match like over the internet with this. I have no idea how I got a concealer on the internet that was like actually my color. Now I'm gonna set it. I have this the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Powder and a dome shape brush. Next, I'm gonna set my brows with this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. So many of my eyebrow hairs are like coming out on it. Can you see them? For this look, I decided I was gonna use the James Charles like Unleash Your Inner Artist palette because it has dark blue in it, um, like right here. For this Corpse Bride, I am not gonna paint my entire face blue because I don't have face paint. So I'm gonna do like a regular kind of like blue glam. I will show a picture of what I am modeling this look off of, like which picture from Google. But basically, I think I'm gonna be using these three like dark blue shades. Or wait, no, these three. This L. I'm gonna take this shade of blue and I'm gonna just like buff that out in the crease as like the first color. The James Charles palette has no mirror in it, so I'm gonna keep using the Kylie like under the C palette thing because it has a mirror in it, but I'm not using this palette. I'm still using the James Charles palette. I'm kind of packing the eyeshadow in first before buffing it out to get more of like a rich color because it's coming out kind of like light. All right, next I'm gonna take this small packing brush and I'm gonna dip into this like darker blue matte shade for like to deepen the crease. brush again to buff it out. Next I'm going to take the packing end of this like dual brush and I'm going to dip into this dark blue shimmer shade for the actual lid. I figured I would do a shimmer on the lid even though her makeup is totally matte just because I'm not gonna paint my whole face blue so I want like some parts of the look to still stand out as like a glam. Okay, I'm gonna do this much on the other eye and then we're gonna start the face. Okay, for face makeup today, I'm gonna use my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in shade Warm Sand, like 08A. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm gonna use a Beauty Blender. I was looking at that one. Yeah. I bought one and I lost it, but they're supposed to be amazing. Buy the gold one, I heard it's gangster. I was gonna get like a piece of the gold glitter. All right, I'm gonna do heavy cream contour because she's supposed to be like a corpse bride, so she's supposed to look dead. <laughs> so that means like cut cheekbones. Um, I'm using the same concealer from before, and this is like a Smashbox foundation in like soft contour stick, but I only use the soft contour side, so. And. I don't know what like color it's in. Number 1.2, that's like what I'm using. Yeah, also sorry, this foundation is like super dark on me. I was supposed to like tan myself again <laughs> and then I just didn't. So I'm like way paler than I'm like supposed to be.
And now I'm gonna set the face. For the contour, I'm gonna try and do a dark blue contour using like maybe this color. We'll see what happens. All right, so the contour was super hard. <laughs> But we did it. I'm using the Lime Crime Highlight and I'm gonna use the like mermaid blue colors, this one. This palette also doesn't have a mirror so I'm still gonna use my Kylie palette. I don't know if you can really see it on camera but that highlight is blue. All right, I'm taking this light blue shade and a packing brush. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner and the brow bone. Alright, now we're on to eyelashes. I'm gonna use this like Kiss Lash Adhesive. And for lashes today, I'm using the Ardell like 600 black ones. And I just wanted to use this because like her lashes look like super nubby, like in all the pictures and like in the movie. And they're really spread out like this. So I thought this would be good. I'm taking this fluffy brush and just taking this and dragging it underneath the eye to like tie it together. Okay, up next I'm using Milk Mascara because this mascara actually gets kind of messy. So I think it would add to like her weird like little nubby eyelashes. I also think it's okay to leave the mascara like very messy because she's like dead. And she looks like pretty disheveled in the movie. Yeah, I think it's totally acceptable if the, me the makeup comes out like messy looking because she like is like supposed to be dead. <laughs> Sorry, I've said that like five times. Okay, you guys, for the lips today, I'm gonna be doing the NYX Candy Slick Glowy Lip Color in shade Grape Expectations and the Pac-Man Lip Gloss in shade Pinky from Wet n Wild. This is like way darker than I thought it would be. I also didn't think this would be a gloss, maybe I'm just like dumb, I like thought that it would just be like a lipstick. It's a glowy lip color, but I don't know, like I thought that it would just be like more neon or something, like I didn't think it would be like a gloss. I keep like cleaning off the purple so that it doesn't get in the pink bottle. I don't really know like how much of a good job I'm doing though. Okay, this made this like really unique magenta color. I don't mind it, but I definitely thought I'd be using like a different lip color. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna put on the outfit and the wig. Okay, this is the finished look for tonight. <laughs> um, obviously the wig didn't really turn out how I thought it would, and this costume has been a trip. <laughs> um, yeah, I wore this for a different get ready with me for like a dress, and I just figured that I would reuse it because it's really pretty and like when am I ever going to wear this again and it kind of looks like a wedding dress. Um, 
Yeah, now I figured like these leather pants because, I mean, they're like bikers. Just because like I didn't want to wear a whole dress out because like, I just don't want it to get caught on anything. Like I didn't make a veil either. And I know that like, it's like, how is anyone supposed to know you're the corpse bride? I feel like I just look like I'm in like a really bad rock band or something. Like, <laughs> but like I had a really good time <laughs> making this stuff. I'm wearing Docs tonight. Dr. Martens. Um, yeah, so this is like my version of corpse bride. Kind of. I, I'm sure everyone's like, actually, what the fuck? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching me get ready once again. Love you guys. Bye.